A delicate operation in Costa Mesa today to rescue a bulldog stuck down a 10 foot well for days. Only CBS 2's Lori Perez is live at the hole that the dog fell into. Lori. Peter and Elsa, this is some story and some hole. Take a look. We want to show you just how deep and dark it is. It goes down about 10 feet. Fire and Rescue says when they got here, this was actually all covered up in brush. You couldn't even really see the opening of the hole. So they had to clear it before they could get down there. And this poor dog, his name is Angus. He is really old and he's actually pretty sick. So he was down that hole and he wasn't making any noise. He was silently waiting for someone to find him. Or not. Angus! And with that, anxiety turned to elation as Costa Mesa Fire and Rescue pulled a 14 year old English bulldog with no eyes out of a 10 foot hole his owners didn't even know was there. He'd been missing since Wednesday, and it was sheer luck Saturday when a neighbor helping them search for him spotted the opening, and then Angus, Robin Hodbert, is his owner. She just started crawling around and all of a sudden she's like, did you know about this hole? I'm like, what hole? What are you talking about? A call to 911 and then for almost an hour, firefighters quickly but carefully made that mystery hole a little bit bigger, trying to get to Angus, who they could see was alive but out of reach. Once they saw their chance, they say they lowered a firefighter head first. He was tied off and went down and got the dog out. Hubbard is still taking it all in. He hasn't been in the backyard for a year. He can't even really walk from the bed to the den. Yet somehow Wednesday when she was out, Angus blindly stumbled his way from the bed to the backyard and down the hole. He'd been ailing, had seven seizures this week. In fact, Hubbard thinks he went off to die. Instead, he's alive, rescued, and she's having happy second thoughts. Obviously, he's not on his last leg like I thought he was. Now, Hubbard made a call to the uh, original homeowner, and they think that this hole is actually left over from an old septic system, so they're going to fill that up ASAP. Meanwhile, Angus is at a veterinary hospital, which is just around the corner, and we're told he has no broken bones. So far, it looks like he's just dehydrated, which is good news. A happy ending here. Back to you.